Hello guys and welcome to a new video about me driving a slalom in my Subaru WRX STI 2012. The slalom event was in Switzerland near the city La Chaux-de-Fonds. It is in the, on the left side of Switzerland in the French speaking part. It was a 1.5 kilometers long track with orange pylons where you had to go through with the car and around them and they even had numbers on the pylons so yeah and this video shows how i was doing on this event and Livio was helping me with the event some service stuff filming and motivating me to continue this event so yeah enjoy it <music> Have fun! Thank you! Voilà, cette fois-ci, alors évidemment tout à l'heure c'était une onde acidique, alors c'est une erreur sur ma liste, vous l'auriez reconnu, parce que la 87 c'est à 88 en l'occurrence, il y a un petit décalage ici sur ma feuille, donc on va se fier à ce qui s'affiche sur le chrono. Donc, sur la Honda Civic en course, maintenant qu'il a franchi la ligne d'arrivée. So how did you feel and how did it go? Yeah, the first run uh, I was just going a little bit slow because I didn't know the track exactly, I didn't know where the pylons are, I didn't know the, the right line, so I was going pretty slow. So it was actually quite like recce. Yeah, it was a little bit like a rally recce. <laughs> C'est Fabien euh, Zeller qui s'élance aussi pour la deuxième fois avec cette Subaru RX. VRX, pardon, le VRX. Allez, 40 secondes, 0,5 pour Raphaël Barfous. Lui aussi vient flirter avec la barre des 40 secondes. Fabien Zeller qui montait tout à l'heure. This was my second practice run and I was able to get a time on 44.01. And in the run before I had 48.65, so it's uh, a lot better, it's actually 4 seconds better. But yeah, let's see the next run. There are 40 seconds, there are two who are at the top of the 36, then 38, then 39 seconds. Certains sont aussi dans les 37. Oui. Là, vous l'aurez reconnu, hein, c'est le Subaru Impreza, on ne peut pas s'y tromper.
this run, this was my last practice run before the two race runs, and there I had 41.28 seconds. Again, a 3 second improvement. Now we go to the race runs, so the runs that actually count to the leaderboard in the end. And in the morning there was the training, and in the afternoon there were the two race runs, and I had a very nice meal on midday, so yeah. We had to wait like 1.5 hours or something like that. In the midday where we were eating, someone told me I should actually give way more refs to the motor before starting so I can go faster on the beginning of the track. So I did that and I was way more aggressive and I was able to get the time like 40.55 seconds which was not so much an improvement but still a little bit and I was actually going a little bit too wide on the, on the right hairpin. Now we go to the last run, where I have put my personal record on the leaderboard, and I was actually quite happy with that run, but yeah, let's see. This was my last run on the event, I had 39.99 seconds and as you can see there were a lot of mistakes in this run but I was still faster because I gained time on the chicane on the long straight after the left corner but on the right hairpin I accidentally enabled my uh, rain wipers and yeah, the run was not clean at all, I misshifted a little bit and I shifted like that, that <laughs> it can hurt to shift stuff in the car. So yeah, that was not so good, but I was still faster and I'm happy with that. It was a nice experience in Bois Monsieur and I'm looking forward to the next year where I will drive a lot more slalom events to improve my driving to uh, in a few years start real rally driving with Livio as my co-driver. Exactly. Yeah.